in the question uh, a constant radius uh, proton and electron in the case and uh, the radius of the r is equal to 2 centimeter r is equal to 2 centimeter and the power is equal to 2 centimeter and the power is equal to 2 meter now we have the angles we have to find out the magnitude of electric field and the direction of electric field act at the center of the arc the center of arc will be a net electric field so we know that the charges magnitude of charge electron charge is 1.629 to 10 to minus 19 volt and it is a proton to a positive so we have a charges we need to find the net electron field at the point center point of view the net electric field when we are not on a superposition superimposition principle is used to each and every charges create electric field at the center point so we have a point of electric field and we have to put it in the picture so we have to put it in the picture so we have to put it in the picture so we have to put it in the picture so we have to put it in the picture here it is 1 and this is a proton 2 and third is a proton 4 is a proton and 5 is a proton so we have 5 charges so 5 charges are not going to be L to fill the period point so the first one the E here and one which is one of the bracket is equal to first charge is L to fill created by the L to fill E to P is L to be created by the proton same as and E4 E plus E5 E ok so we can get the vector so we can get the direction so we can get the point go and the point go and the other thing and the point go will get the field electric field created by the electron system from this might be stable structure and this is a field created by the first charge what is a electric field created by the proton in the positive charge so positive charge means electric field is away from the proton electric field is away from the charge because it is positive so e is like this and central axis and you know, this is on the x axis y axis this is x axis okay what is angle theta 1 this theta 1 is 30 degree this is 30 degree and this is 30 degree okay because omega theta of it is horizontal axis if i put it along the line position of the line is polar polar line in the angle must be equal to this theta one is equal to theta okay and then the third one is a proton which it is positive charge so you have to put it in your side this this is e3 of proton the angle from the horizontal axis so theta 2 is 50 degree so total angle from horizontal axis is 80 degree so this angle must be 80 degree next one is the electron now it is a electron negatively charged so l to the line is towards the constant charge this is the electric field line created by the fourth One this angle from the x axis q3 is 30 degree q4 is 20 degree so this angle is 50 and finally we have a proton which is positive charge positive charge is l to the line away from the positive charge so this is l to the line from a proton This angle is 40, 20 degree. Q4 is 20 degree. So this is also 20 degree. 
then we find out the component x component and y component electric field so what are the x component electric field summarize it x component is only one and y component is only one so add it is easy so first one is e1 is horizontal direction along the x axis along i cap direction so that is e1 of electron by the cos 0 degree i cap positive direction where is e2 e2 here angle is theta e2 angle is 30 degree then the manner to resolve to resolve to do we get e2 of t cos 30 degree and e2 of t sin 30 degree so e2 of photon cos 30 i cap which is negative so left hand side direction this is uh, also vertically downward so e2 of t sin 30 degree negative direction uh, j cap next one is e3 photon this is also left e3 photon cos 30 degree and also e3 photon sin 80 degree sorry for the mistake e3 is 80 degree so minus e3 of photon cos 80 degree i cap which is negative direction so that minus e3 of photon sin 80 degree it is downward so that minus so e1 e2 e3 completed then e4 e4 again e4 resolve into two component e4 of electron is cos 50 degree and e4 of electron sin 50 degree so e4 is negative electron which is negative direction and from cos sorry sin 50 up finally we get the e5 e5 is is positive charge it is all into two component e5 cos 20 then downward one e5 sin 20 so e5 is cos 20 it is positive e5 sin 20 j cap which is negative what is the total electric field along the horizontal component with the vertical component with the electric field along the horizontal direction summation of the horizontal component with the e is of form e values of constant because a value of proton and value for value of electrons are equal and the direct distance distance are also constant so electric field is equal to what the electric field is equal to 1 by 4 pi of the number 0 The modulus of Q here we use an absolute value. Modulus vector from the positive one is from the divided by R squared. R is 0.02 the whole square. I is solving negative 10 power 9. And the value of charge 6 to 9 into 10 power minus 19 divided by 0.02 the whole square. I is solving get 3.6 into 10 power minus 6. So this is the query. So E value is constant for the components. So the common relation now. So E of electron is equal to E of power. So the area of the another theta direction of the theta is equal to so cos zero degree. 
plus sorry on or minus minus cos fifty minus cos eighty minus cos fifty plus cos twenty of vector. What is the value of vertical component? E common at the one C minus minus sin fifty minus sin eighty plus sin fifty minus sin twenty. So for the result one, the result one is what? P or E value one minus ten. P or E value three point six into ten to minus six. Part zero is one. सिक्स ऑरिजोट is given by 9.26 into 10 to the minus 7 i care which is positive direction what happened to the vertical component e over vector net e over vector is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the minus 6 sin 30 it is 0.5 minus Minus zero point nine eight plus zero point seven six minus zero point three four. By solving, the value is minus three point three four six to ten power minus six. That means the vertical component vector is acting down in the direction. That's why get the negative sign. What is the net directed field? E net net directed field is equal to root of e x squared plus e y squared. Plug in the values. Nine point two six into ten power minus one to four squared plus minus three point eight one six into ten power minus one to four squared. The value is three. Six in the code. This is net directed field. Then we need to get the direction. So e e x it is on the right hand side. So we pass it. This is the direction of prism component vector, which is nine point two six ten four nine seven. Then vertical component vector. It is downward, so that it is negative. Three point nine two six and three point four nine six. It must be the result. This is the net directed field. The direction of net directed field is given by tan theta is equal to vertical component divided by horizontal component. Theta is equal to tan minus a. E y by e x by solving we get theta will be minus seventy six point four degree. So that the resultant vector must be the angle minus seventy six point four degree. This is a resultant vector. This is the vertical component vector net vertical component vector minus three point eight one 
six and what is the compound of the base nine point two six complete and four. So 